The green wall is standing strong All from right. what I see. Waldo. I want to reset. Vincent, reset, baby. I that too, to be honest with you. <laughs> all, all I can think about right now is San Diego, but let's get it started. Forge Blitz, Optic Gaming, and Echo Fox, Vincent and Godblaze, take it away. It's grand final time Ooh. here in New Orleans. I feel like I've gone all the way back to season one. Optic Gaming, Echo Fox, Echo Fox, a miraculous run through the losers bracket. It all started in losers round one, but now you have to beat the kings of Gears of War, not just once, but twice. Oh, and Frank gets first blood in his grand finals against his former teammate in praise. So, top control going in favor of Echo Fox Benson. Let's see what goes down next. About to progress on through, though. And it's worth mentioning, these early rounds, guys, are going to be crucial for Echo Fox. They have to start strong. They can't start slow like early also, rounds. Also, this map as well, right? This is the only map in which Optic Gaming has lost all tournament. Right. You know, these guys, they feel uncomfortable on this map. Uh, they haven't found a flow just yet. So, Echo Fox is going to have to come out and make a powerful statement. If they can take this map number one, they definitely got a great chance. You have to exploit the weakness. Admittedly, there aren't that many, but when you find them, you have to get them uh, and really take full advantage as it stands early on. Optic Gaming, two to one hill advantage. Early point lead as well. Nothing really to panic about if you're an Echo Fox fan as we take a look at Summon's perspective. Flick over to Watch Kyle. You can see the lines of fire just being rained down from above. Essentially going for the revive chain, and Kyle could be in some big, big trouble. Two kills come through, up to game and could push. Yeah, they're gonna clean up these uh, kills. That's gonna be four down. Icy is the only one left, but still, 10 second respawn rounds. Mental and Soldiers, they found, uh, they clean up those kills. So, Icy backed up towards that home hill. You got uh, all members of Echo Fox spawned up now. But you see Optic Gaming, they're doing Optic Gaming like things, right? They're always bringing the pressure, forcing them to panic. The question is, does the touch come in? Fran finds a kill and powers. Smart flank to get the pressure, try to catch some of these players. Uh, out rotating and rotating out of this position. And so Echo Fox uses just to back out. They say, hey, you know what? Let's not put all our eggs in this basket. Now Powers, as you say, makes a smart play. Just backs away. Doesn't need to dedicate to the flank because he actually cleans up mental. Nicely played. Now B. That's going to be the target of attack for Echo Fox. Someone's going to be in a world of pain. There's three plays from Echo Fox that want to get down and dirty. Ooh. Ultimately falls. Now you can potentially even go for a neutral if you want to. However, the resources from up to gaming once again heading over towards the A hill. This, that is his, uh, his 483rd kill of the tournament. Make oh my god, right Powers. Now. This is what you want to see from Powers. First round. Make get down! Five. Get dirty, Powers! You love to see it. Five kills. Round one. Wonderful stuff from him. But now, can you build on the momentum, Echo Fox? Can you neutralize C and potentially go for the trip cap? Up to gaming. Ooh. They're in trouble. Round number one. Echo Fox taking the fight. Not over just yet. They Powers need. still in a position to maybe go for the trip. But exposed oh with god. a big double. You need Powers to come up clutch here, and he will fall down. Echo was in a good position. They're trying to stay alive, so that domination will get broken. I think Game is going to have another breath of life, but check this out. They're not getting points. I do believe that Echo Fox can win us off a two cap. Icy needs to make a big defensive stand. Yes, you do. 167, 155. No trip cap for Echo Fox, but you cannot lose control of the B Hill. It's going to be neutral. Icy goes down. Explosive is there to help summons up to gaming. Retake control once again. If you're Echo Fox, you've got time for one more push. Yes, you do, but you see Praise watching this choke point mid map. They're going to Echo Fox. They're going to have to scurry into different directions, and everybody is going to have that confidence. Is they, they can win their individual 1v1s. Praise looking to make this connection, but oh, Powers, Powers makes it on through. So they can get this decap, but the home hill. Powers they need to get on it before 207. Is anybody in the area? No, it does not matter. Optic Gaming strikes first. And uh, that's a dagger to the heart of Echo Fox. You looked at that round, and there was a brief moment where you thought, oh, sure. God, you're yeah. going to do it. Trip Cap could come through, but up to gaming, too calm, too composed, no. ultimately take round one. But this is, you know, the, the beauty about round number one, right, is that if you could lose it, you can get a crucial weapon down on the map yes. to put the, uh, to set the tone of this map in your favor, right? Well, so it looks like <laughs> Echo Fox is going to go to prioritize to put those nades down low. Powers, so. nine kills round one, by the Ooh. way. What a performance that is. But ultimately, you lost round one, so it doesn't mean too much. Yeah. But still, the one player you want to make sure is calm, comfortable, and shooting right is doing just that for Echo Fox. And there you go. So we're going to see these opening smokes. Fran, first blood up top. He was able to win that positioning for his team against his former teammates in praise. And the Solars is Fran and Icy on the opposite side. So we'll see who wants to come out on top. We talked a little bit about trying to isolate a 2v1 in this uh, little short range area. It's a very difficult thing to do. Uh, difficult thing to do. But you're going to see the reposition comes in. So oh. Solars, oh, praise, gosh. they work together, and they win that engagement. The 1v1 and one down low as well. Kenny's powers, they both fall. 
Kyle, last man standing, defending that home hill. He's getting pushed out, and you know I think they're bringing the pressure. And the problem was Kyle actually came straight off spawn there, so they kind of recognize where he is. Kyle does well, finds the first, can he touch the hill? At least needs to roll in, uh, not in time. You gotta, you, gotta die, you gotta die for that touch. You, have you to, gotta die you for that touch. You in know? a 12-second respawn round, you have to sacrifice yourself. It's the little things like that, Benson. Uh, but you see, Optic Gaming, they respond again. They go up two to zero. So I'm expecting a long-range weapon to get placed up top. Uh, you know, maybe Sniper, maybe Embar. Or they can go for the Marxist down low in the dual spots. That also will be a viable uh, weapon selection on this map. And put them in the hands of, Carl, of, uh, of, of Kyle and Explosive. But the thing is, is that Explosive, so far in this tournament, before this match, he had 175 downs, right? <laughs> and then he had like 185 kills to match, right? Putting out the most <laughs> points for out the game. Oh Even though Mental uh, has about, you know, 80 more kills than him in this tournament, the he still is putting out 500 more points worth of damage on average on a map. So uh, you, 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 you got to be wary of things like that, especially when you put down on secondary weapons. But the thing is, you also got to have faith in your own teammates as well. Absolutely, you do have to have faith. And now you're starting to... Get into that rhythm here. You, you're wondering, Echo Fox, you have to win one of these early rounds. You cannot allow Optic Gaming to get too far ahead. They're a team that when they get that advantage, they never let it go. Especially after considering what we saw earlier on in the championship winner's bracket when these two teams already oh. fought. A better oh. start. Frant finds one. It's ready oh. to go down. Frant has to run next, oh. but this is a double for Frant to kick things off. Oh. So was four. Now it's fine to pick on Mental. Already the numbers advantage in favor of Echo Fox. Even though I, I, I can feel Frant's excitement in winning that 1v2. He's looking for a third. Can he get it? He needs a little bit of help, but he's taking some damage. He does get a, a, a bit of a cross for some help. But the thing is, is that how, you know what? Power should have been a little bit closer to help him fight that one because you win that fight, the domination comes through, right? Yep. You got those three quick kills in succession. Both home hills got capped right away, and he just had to kind of win that fight on that B hill and force it if he could. But Optic Gaming regains control over the home hill. Icy with snipe in hand. He's going to actually die with the snipe out. Quick pick back Praise. We'll see if he can find the target. And he's actually just going to go take the high ground. And that's such a good play from Praise. So sneaky. He hits the flank. Icy, no idea whatsoever. Praise says, thank you very much for the free snipe. As it stands, though, Echo Fox, you have a nice lead so far. As Season mental, one MVP. Mental, uh, yeah. You know, that just happened. That's a triple kill for him. And now all of a sudden, Icy left on the back foot, has to defend his home. He'll praise and mental, both hungry to close out this round with trick cap domination in mind. Icy ultimately drops. Kyle now trying to come to the rescue. Kenny trying to put the support fire down. Echo Fox hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Yes, they are. And they're going to have to get in and break through. You got four members of Optic Gaming standing on top of this hill. They need to win these engagements, but Explosives puts the man advantage in his favor. The question is, can Echo Fox respond? Another player dropping. Powers needs to go big when you need him the most. He's going to get some good damage in, but can't win the fight. And Kenny falls as well. It's not but over. Icy it's not over. Power Icy could go 1v3, oh, basically. Oh, it's oh, also oh, Icy! Oh, Unbelievable Icy play! Means. Keeps Echo Fox alive. Barely. Woo! Barely in round number three. If, 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 you know, if you're on the optic gaming side of the management, you're like, damn, I miss <laughs> we that. Drop, we dropped you, that? You know, we're winning, <laughs> but damn, I miss him. Thank you for the championships, Icy. Oh, beautiful stuff from him, but ultimately drops down. That has to be the play, which Echo Fox Spiral used that as a momentum builder, essentially, as B finally does get capped up. But once again, in flies off to gaming, explosive and mental summons with a pick as well. And so once again, you have yourself a situation where Echo Fox are in a big, big world of pain. Yeah, they, they're looking to get this down, but on the flip end, all down. The question is, will they make it to their home hill in time to, uh, you know, before Optic Gaming gets set up? And Optic is choosing, knowing that they are not close enough to be in position to just kind of hold the two cap while they got this lead in the late game. And that's the key, right? You have that lead around about 13 points. You have a two to one hill advantage. You don't need to push anything in those situations. Just force Echo Fox to push you. Take that last wave of gunfights and use an advantage there. All right, so you see the score is ticking up. This is where you got to spring into action. Fran's going to have some help. Hilm and Kenny looking to push the home hills. They're going to have a 2v2 fight, but he's going to try to put some damage in mid-map before he has to progress on. He's going to leave, have faith in Kenny, but at that point, you got a player that gets behind enemy lines to decap the home hill of Echo Fox. This round oh, should all be Optic Gaming. Yes, it will. Icy wanted to do it again, but ultimately doesn't matter too much.
Is this simply going to be deja vu from winner's bracket round oh, one? Oh, you see explosive. He says, yo, Fran, I got you on swords already. What you doing? And, uh, you know, explosive, he was studying this match, you know? And, uh, you know, one thing that he was doing, he was paying attention to that time dead, right? In that previous series, he says, you know, Fran has the most time dead on his team. You know, he's really, like, you know, struggling for him. So at that point, you, he's just picking on him. You know, he, he's singling him out, and he's just looking for him on the map. As it stands, Explosive definitely having a good map so far. There's a look at your scoreboard. Mental leads the way, though. 14 kills. Explosive right behind him with 10. On the other side, Powers, 12 kills to his name thus far. Of course, the block comes through down low. We'll see ultimately Dewey Vacko Fox. Again, they need one of these rounds, guys. You cannot give up to gaining this much momentum because they're just going to steamroll through you. All right, here we go. You're going to see Solis trying to get some shots in. And, uh, you know, gonna, gonna drop back. So I, they actually give up the fight up top. You know, I, I take that back. You still got one player up there. He left Praise up there. That was Echo Fox backing down. Nades are gonna hit the dirt, but kills going in favor of Echo Fox. And Fran's gonna get a snipe and a quick headshot on Mendo as well. Can we move on over to Fran? One of the best snipers in the game. Looking to take control over this map. He's gonna, uh, looking for Solars to get that kill. You see the hills being capped in their favor. Gonna find Solars. Gonna take a shot he's back up. But he knows that he's gonna be putting pressure on that hill. Pulling his pistol out to get some damage in. And he needs play. To, he's gonna put himself in position to get to out the game his home hill. But it may be too little too late. They gotta get that kill. And I believe that was Solars who kind of extended that round five to gaming. So credit to him. And once again, up to gaming in those brief moments when you think they might get trip capped. Survive. The clutch factor is truly insane as Powers now fighting a 1v2 on his home hill. He's going to go down. Explosive finds the pit. Now all of a sudden, Echo Fox scrambling towards Explosive. He's done well. Just to buy enough time as Icy did find himself a down. You see the support fire raining from above. And if Explosive gets out of this, I was going to say, that would have been miraculous. Ultimately, he does fall. Cal still putting shots out. And that fact, the revive comes through. And Explosive's done phenomenally well. Now he just wants to play peekaboo. Cal. He falls, and all of a sudden, up to game, he seemed to be getting a, a little bit more momentum in this round. He does take a kill to the grave. You see Fran, he's looking for that sweet spot to get that extra damage in on Prey. So, two heal advantage for Echo Fox. Also, a point lead as well. They do not have a round on the board just yet. But I can't even, actually, I can't even, uh, you know, say that, you know what, this should be the round in which they win because you know I'll have to game. <laughs> yeah. They come back from any situation. If you guys watched the match with them on EU's finest on this map, when they tried to get that domination in the end and trip cap, when they just could not. And that just is a testament to how good this Optic Gaming team is. They're so hard to kill off. You have the chances, you have the opportunities, but they just somehow survive as now all of a sudden, once again, Echo Fox looking to earn themselves the numbers to go down. Kenny with two big wins. That's and you have down. to feel like you, you gotta just go at this point. Oh, if you're Echo Fox, don't yeah. waste any time. Mental, last man alive. And look at oh, that, he he's overextended. Him. He's he, overextending. Can't even see him, he's gonna cut right. Yeah, he's gonna wait till the last minute. Oh, the smoke goes down. Brad knows That's he's there. You gotta be quick. You gotta be quick if you're Echo Fox. Do not allow Mental to be uh -oh. this big of a nuisance. Uh -oh. Fran wants to push uh -oh. him. The decap coming through. Has mental uh -oh. earned enough split time? Second. Yeah. I oh, no. don't think he has. No, he has. He no. has. Praise gets into the hill, but Kyle and Icy both still there. Looking to end this round as quickly as possible, but summons oh. a miraculous pick, but it doesn't matter. Oh. Echo Fox do win that first round here in map one. But that's the same as I explained beforehand, right? Sometimes they just will not go down, even yep. in those type of situations. You have to. Uh, approach all those fights with caution, but not too much caution where you let these players kind of milk out, milk out that clock and waste a lot of time. And that was three different opportunities of yeah. a trip cap, and they survived the first two. So it took three attempts to finally shut them down. It's now up to gaming, going to weapon placement, looking down low at instant. So you're gonna go to the nade spot. All right, so two nades across mid-map. Uh, the block from Echo Fox that came in the round before, uh, you know, okay, cool, smart block, right? It's a it's a double-edged sword to put down a support weapon right. when your opponents are that good with them, right? Uh, keep the, the hammer burst, the Botox, the Marxes, the enforcers, keep them all out, and uh, just worry about those stock weapons, pistols, lancers, and uh, let's see what they can do with that. And uh, oh, a man advantage, oh, never mind, it's gonna be a 2v2 up top and a 2v2 down low, 1v1 towards the incinerator. Kyle looking for the win this engagement against Explosive, and he does get first blood in this round, so they should be able to use their numbers to cap this hill, right? This is where you can hit them with that Mr. Crab, so to they're speak. They're just going straight for C. Yeah. I, I love this. This is just so aggressive. No, no, just go for the hill. Me mental could be in a, a, a little bit of pain just, here. Just go for the hill, Kyle. Gets it down. Again, you could just put the pressure on. Could have been a little quicker force. Essentially, mental to take that 1v1 with powers, but C's going to be decapped. Now, surely, though, 
Solar should fall at B. He does. Luckily, though, Big Braze fight. is still going to be there. Braze Big goes down. Kenny get it. gets it. Back. Two rounds back to back for Echo Fox as they look to potentially tie things up. And that was scary. That was scary for me. That's one of those situations when you got to recognize, uh, recognize that, hey, we just won a 2v2 fight here. There's two guys up top. I know this is a 1v1 isolated right. fight. Just drop back. So decap. It's those seconds. Those seconds, which is what gives up to gaming that life fight. Admittedly, not in that round, but in the round prior, of course. That's essentially yeah. what it can come down to. Just brief, brief moments, brief hesitations, if you will. But as it stands, map one, grand final here at New Orleans. Up to gaming, three to two advantage. Final round of the half, 20 second respawns. Excited to see who comes out. Against Optic Gaming, you can't afford to give up seconds. Yeah. Kenny taking some damage. This is going to be a big fight for him. He's actually going to choose just to drop back. He is going to get down as he's trying to hop over that mantle, but Kyle trying to do something oh, about that fudge. and help him out. And uh, you're going to see actually uh, Optic Gaming, so off that weapon selection, they were able to put those marks down, right? They saw the Echo Fox was trying to avoid it, but they said, uh-uh, not going to happen. You can't avoid this. Woo! Oh, Lord. Praise. Nice shot. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Oh. Missed the stutter step. Come through for Kyle. In. Bear in mind, you, you take a look at the, the players down. Two dead currently for Echo Fox. Just a one for up to gaming. Praise still being a nuisance up top. And uh, he has these sight lines, right? And you have to respect him with it. You know that uh, yeah, you, you know you just can't be running around a map. And so even hitting that body shot, the one thing that Echo Fox knows is that if he's by himself, let's just flood him, right? Force him to hit the shot. If he hits the shot, you just got to tip your head off to him. And he's connected <laughs> with two body shots on Icy. But Icy's like, yo, I'm taking the damage. You just push in. And they're, 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 they're both trading off back and forth. And Fran picks up a key double. That's key, right? Now all of a sudden you have Prey scrambling with his tail between his legs. Sniper in hand. But Icy wants him, hunting him down. Bear my friends found three kills at the other side of the map. Optic could be in some serious trouble. Five players full. Tripcap potentially coming through. No one's going to get there for Optic Gaming. We're tied up in map one. Three oh, oh, oh. rounds apiece. Just when it was looking like we were going to have a repeat series. Nah, Echo not today. Fox responds. What you want to see. Icy on his feet responding to the explosive from a few rounds prior, of course. And so the rivalry here is it's just beautiful. In the grand final, right? Oh, here we Icy, go. And, like I'm it. just saying, Icy and Kenny, they are different types of monsters, right? They are. And, you know, the match that they played earlier uh, in quarterfinals, right? Not the same thing. Not the same two players. Agreed. And Agreed. this type of pressure, this is where mental summons, explosives can really see how it feels to play against their old teammates. Yep. First time in a long time they get to witness it in a grand final. As you said, those type of caliber of players just step up. They shift also, into a different gear. And, and on scary. the flip side, too, as well, you know, for Echo Fox, uh, for Praise and Solars. But, uh, Very true, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. They, they both, uh, they're pretty good at the Gears of War as well. It's worth mentioning is up to gaming a swift four down to start the first round of the second half. Of course, we go back down to our 10 second respawn round. So potentially you could see a break come through, but up to, they smell blood. They're going for it. Will they be able to lock in that trip cap over towards the. As Mental said in the interview, that rounds one and seven are their strongest with no power weapons on the map. They love it. And just using their slaying power. So all five members of Echo Fox back towards the spine. Solars is recognizing, ooh, with a down and a quick meat shield and a melee. Oh, 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 oh there quick you double go. while he's full red. And you're gonna see they pick up a third kill, but a, a push happened on the other side of the map. He may get decapped, but he's gonna go press it's the button because they recognize it, right? Yep, Paris has to get out of there. You have to get out of there. You can't wait. You know up top isn't controlled by you. Because ultimately falls anyway, so it doesn't make too much difference, and that's why he held because he was waiting to see if someone was going to win that one v one. So ultimately, someone could cap the hit the hill if Paris went down. So two to one, hill advantage in favor of Optic Gaming, 93 to 30. Looking good as well, all in favor of Optic, of course. They won the first three rounds of the first half before Echo Fox right. responded. Can they do the same thing in the second half? So Explosive is uh, going to call it a reset, all right? So they did have button control as well. Incinerate not able to pick up that kill. They do have one down, but Fran does find a kill on Praise. Looking to push through and get another one. Explosives finds one of his own. So you look at the score. You're going to have to get some of these hills decapped and going in the favor of Echo Fox. And they will find the E hill neutral and they will cap it in their favor. So at this point, if you can control button, that's going to be good. Get, uh, you know, start marking these people on the map and start trying to figure out where they are. But you do want to control this button room for your team. Solars essentially could be in a prime position to make the play for off the game. He spotted Kenny now. 
I would believe Kenny has spotted solos as well, or maybe potentially not. Of course, Kenny just rotating around, and all of a sudden the game slows down. It becomes more uh, a game of chess as you wait to see what your opponent's going to do, who's going to make the first mistake. And Optic is recognizing they were, they were doing the map, and they say, hey, we went off of one, right? But they're still going to bring the pressure. They want to control this button and, as well. And Kenny has to concede that. Kenny yeah. has to back away. He was a 2v1. Cannot give away his life at this point of the game. And now all of a sudden, Echo Fox springing into life, recognizing we have to at least touch F. We have to go for the neutral and nothing more. Oh. Powers with a big win against Mental. Is that going to be oh. the opening? The hill gets neutral. However, there's no extra support there for Echo Fox. They players going for a flank. They try to, but uh, it's some player back deep in spine who's preventing that flank from coming through, which was forcing them back. It was Mental and Summons back in spine. And they forced the players the other direction. And at uh -oh. that point, uh oh, it's Kyle's turn. It's Kyle's turn. Oh, That's a big no. double. He's going to be able to touch no. the hill at least. Oh, now, no. Kyle on the flag. That's oh, the triple. Hey, Echo Fox. Is that? Looking to steal a round away from Optic Gaming. It comes down to explosive. Oh. 1v3. Uh oh, not today. Oh, Echo Fox with the comeback. With the comeback in that round. And that is one. That is a momentum builder for Vincent. I, 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 I peeped something out. Yeah. That was one of the first times I've ever seen Optic Gaming turtle in a round in a very long time on top of that home hill. And it looked like it was going to work out for him. But you saw the rotation from Summers and, and Mental both to go into those secondary rooms. Yep. They knew that the players were going to come, but maybe they got a little bit too close. Kyle made a huge double. It's Everybody worth mentioning. Alive. It's plays like that that make Kyle so, so dangerous. When his back's against the wall, when he recognizes his team needs something, a moment of magic, a dash of brilliance, up he steps. A wonderful individual play from him to give Echo Fox the lead for the first time here in map one of this grand final. And speaking of Kyle, we have to watch him off the break here. 17 kills to his name. May have a fight here with Mental. Looking to just try and get an early advantage for Echo Fox. But I think this is the perfect time now to set to a listen-in with Echo Fox. On E, on E right now. Only one, Alex. Alex is on E. Good point. I'll get you guys on E. I'll get you guys on E. Four dead. Four dead. Four dead. Four dead. One on top, bro. One on top. I'm, I'm he has to go home. home. He has to go home. I'm near a spawn. I'm all spawn. I'm on top. I'm playing on top. I'm playing on top. So don't, don't die. Don't die. Don't I'll mark. Remember, we still have the button. One power. One power. Shoot this kid. I'm going to get planes. Move up, please. I am. I am. I'm trying to right now. I'm behind you. You're good. You're I have your four at four. Down, down, down. Frank, one up top behind you. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting out. Yeah, I'm getting up, 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 I'm gonna rip this kid. Get ready. Shot. Get ready to come up. They come. Hubert, that kid's flying on you. Uh, they have big one shot. Big one shot on me. Big one shot on me. Hey, go up top. Big one shot on me. Look at these lost idiots, bro. They're gonna right work middle map. They're gonna work middle map. I'm here. I'm here. Right, look at this kid. Look at this kid. He's starting. Look at the line. Look at the line. Look at the line. Hoffman. Hoffman for the line. I just don't know. They're quad. They're quad. Going wide. Hoffman for it. Hoffman for the line. He's getting lit. Right, I'm taking this square. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. There's a kid hiding. Hiding. Two go up top. Two go up top. One's running back there under pass. We down him, we down him! Correct. Top, top. Yo, press the button so you get a lead. Press the button so you get a lead. Yo, down on the line. Press the button. Watch on the left. Marcus Ford, Marcus Ford, Marcus Ford. I'm on their own. They're square, right now. They're square. They're square. Two, they're square. Two, they're square. Flying down, down line, flying line. Down by you, Parsons. Can you let me shoot? You're great, you're great, you're great. Honor home, honor home, honor home, honor home. I'm blind. I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm not with you, Frank. Look at this guy going square. Good try, good try. 71. No stagger dead. No stagger dead. We still have V. Get our heart square. Go to ER spawn. They want to press this. They might want to press this. They might want to press this. They are. Go to E, go to E, go to E, go to E. I'm here. Yo, we definitely E with our heart. Oh, it's pocket. Oh, it's pocket. Let's go. I backed up. I'm here. I threw smoke in the hill. I'm straight. Shoot a Gilbert. I'm straight. Yo, yo, hold my, hold my power. Oh, the hill hurt. My power kidding. Remember, they have the cap. Boom's up. Boom's up. Wait, they're going to have right now. Shoot this kid on the left. Boom is one shot. Boom is one shot. I'm getting straight line, 100%. I'm one shot. I'm, I'm pressing the square. I'm pressing the square. I'm pressing the square. Watch out, praise the cut. Don't get double bump. Don't get double bump. Shoot him, crap. Oh, you got me. You got me. Uh, I'm going to get a still one off one. I'm he he, he I'm wants to remember they have two boom. Boom is cut. Boom is cut. I keep back door. Door. Push push door. Door. I'm coming back to him. Right. Look at this guy on my right. They pre kill. They pre kill. They have a large time. Push push on me. Use the boom. I see you. Use the boom. I'm with you. I see you. There you go. Get that kill. Find your power. I think find your power. Yep, yep, yep. I'm pressing power. Boom is marked. Watch out, boom. Down the power. Yeah, I get it. I got it. There's two powers. There's two powers. I have these. Two powers. Two powers. I need help. He's helping me now. Stall, 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 stall. That's what hurt. I copy. I'm capping. You have time. You have time. Give me time. Two on our home. Relax. Time, Vic. Well, I'm coming out of power. I'm here, Vic. I'm here. I'll smoke on the hill. I smoked on the hill. We can press this kid now. We can press this kid now. 
Cooper hurt, Cooper hurt, no. Got two weeks. I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm watch out, I'm watch out. Get in there, push, push right. Power. And we got a good bridge, and we got a good bridge. Push out to right, push out to right. Cooper, watch out! Two down, down, down! Two in their power. Flying up, flying up, no. Guys, go, run, run. I got one! Nice, I got one power! One in the power. Got two! One gonna come out, get the cap, get the cap, get the cap. Come in, come in, right now! One shot! I got him, I got him, I got him. You gotta get the cap, you gotta get the cap. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. We won. Right here, right here, right here. The cap, we're at four. That's it. Yeah. That's it. We fucking got it! You guys it. are the fucking Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's fucking 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 go! You just can't fuck with us, bro. Let's go! They're fake ass champions. Fucking go! Terrible! 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 Terrible. Terrible. Yo, yo, this is the praise of Brian we know, bro. You're the fucking best, friend. Fucking Keep go, it the baby. fuck up, bro. That kid can't fucking kill you, friend. Go! He can't fucking kill you, friend. Vic, you're literally Jesus Christ. I'm getting your fucking autograph, bro. Listen to me! Game. Two more rounds! Two more fucking rounds, Vic! Mm -hmm. I stuck the E right there. I, I should have perfect. Not to big cap, uh, big cap, Kyle. Big fucking cap. Call. cap. You actually won the round for us. Good shit, baby. <coughs> Good fucking rotations. Smarter than them. Period, Kyle. This is our fucking time. Good. Thank God. I don't know why this kid's putting it. I just had fucking it. time. Literally, did he put it in a headshot? Okay, I gotta adjust my smokes, friend. You throw your smoke on the left side. That very wow. well could be one of the best listenings wow. I've ever heard. Absolutely unreal. Wow. The composure. The clean call outs, oh. everything going out, everything. their way. I was way. so impressed with Powers, too, that and, 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 and that whole list of that. Beautiful. That was awesome. Echo Fox. Like, he says, friend, I'm calling you Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I want your autograph at the end of this tournament. 5-3, the advantage. I don't think many people saw it going this way, but of course, it is by no means over oh, the power oh. mental. Oh, sorry, Powers and Fran actually spring it to life. That's two. All of a sudden, it's just down to Praise and Solars, the two players former on the Echo Fox roster. Solars is also going to drop here. And Echo Fox, this looks like a completely different team than what we saw earlier on in the championship round. It definitely does. Speaking of that was a good button press there by Praise because he prevented the trip cap from coming in. So it buys out there, gaming some time to come off a spine reset. You see the players rotating towards the incinerator to say, hey, let's make this our home hill, all right? We got some time to get in position, to set up, to uh, have a good fight there. Echo Fox recognized that as well, and they said, you know what, let's back up and let's take the fight on Incinerator. Do not go for the home hills just yet. Yep, no need to. You have to wait till you get a couple more players dead as Powers with Boom as well. Bear that in mind. Of course, that fight was pretty crazy. We'll see uh, how that could potentially affect the rest of this round as once again, it becomes a game of chess. Slows down, you're waiting for the pick, you're waiting to see who's gonna draw first, but here comes the push. Front track, a 1v2, nicely played, hey, cleans up both, and all of a sudden the head tilt now looks extremely viable to be pushed here from Echo Fox. They have three players dead, do they wanna go for it? Surely this is it, you have boom. Echo Fox looking to put himself at map point, oh. exposes the last oh. man, he gets boomed. Echo wow. Fox, a brand new look at this one. Reality however, check. however, he has been broken, it was mental. He somehow snuck through, this uh -oh. is what up to gaming do so well they buy time and it looks it looks like the green wall have survived oh man i thought that was gonna be match point i turned around i looked towards the stage all right so it's never it's never it's that never, until it's over with the, without the game it's you never give done any amount of time all they need is seconds to break your setup you gotta strike when you can but i, I do think echo fox had a good pace in that round and think of it this way praise with the button press mental with the break Two moments where Optic Gaming have extended the lifetime of this round. Oh, they didn't round. pick up this down. Praise was down, but they didn't clean it up. Miscommunication, but the question is, does Praise stay alive and be annoying? Well, Solus has fallen elsewhere, and Praise is forced to, to wrap, and Kenny should know about it. Powers oh, turns yep. around. They that's, call it the flank. That's the free kill, and now you have numbers. You have a five, and a boom. two. You got a boom as well. Surely, again, this is a chance for Echo Fox to push straight through and put pressure on the F hill. But again, they don't want to take the number fight. Hey, they got one boom. That one boom can defend any of these hills, and most likely they may just hold it towards the home hill. We'll see. But I don't think they're going to turtle up. But also with button control as well, that's going to buy you extra 10 to, uh, to 15 points up top. Then also the boom to defend your home hill. That's going to buy you time as well. Does Icy just go for the push? Does he just go for the push, potentially give away his life? That's the big question. The fight up top is absolutely massive because someone's going to win this against Kenny. He is the There we go. Boom is there, though, to defend the home hill, but there could be more pressure. It doesn't even matter. Echo Fox put themselves at that the point. advantage. But if you're just tuning in, let's not forget, Echo Fox need to beat up to gaming not just once. They need to do it twice. Two whole series. It's a tough task. Is it possible? We will wait and see. A quick look now at the first round. All of a sudden, you see uh, Kenny make his way up toward the B hill. The fight 
Going to go down and see if uh, potentially Echo Fox can keep the momentum going. That's a beautiful start. Oh. Kenny, he's just killing everything. He said, oh, oh Lord. Kyle, I'm sorry. You got caught up he's in the crossfire. He's not done. He isn't done. Oh. Kenny's oh. just running through up the game. Oh, no. not even oh, there. No. They're going to push on through, too, as well. Powers, get some kills. But they're going to say, hey, you know what? Let's choose to back up and see what happens. And now you're going to see him set up two hill advantage. All right, so uh, Optic Gaming, all players grouping up, going down towards Cave. You got four players in front of you. Echo Fox choosing to, you know, get up out of this situation. They realize that they don't have the personnel. They do not have the numbers as right. well. And so they're going to go try to play for this two hill cap. Looks like it's going to be home hills for now. A and C under Echo Fox control. The game again slows down. You can expect to see this in every map in this grand final. Just these moments when players are evaluating, waiting for mistakes. As Echo Fox look now to potentially be eyeing up the mid neutral hill. They're going to target B. Now they have a ton of resources over towards Optic Gaming's home hill. So this 2v2, if taken quick enough and effectively enough, could honestly win the game. And now you get the two defensive kills. Uh -oh. All of a sudden, you see the resources uh -oh. flying towards B. Optic Gaming, you're they're in trouble get, round one. They're trying to decap a prey. It's got a lot of damage. Kenny is going to fall. Fran falls as well. Icy goes down. So the old duo, Solar's praise, looking to make something happen. Oh, but Powers is there. Powers is there, guy. Don't count him no. out just yet. Oh, no, okay. not going to happen. Oh, Made it the 1v1. Solar's fantastic play over at B. So, but they keep that round alive. And Optic Gaming able to back up, regain control over their home hill as well. So, and they're looking to take the home hill of Echo Fox. You see the pressure coming, but the Optic Gaming player is choosing just to rotate out, realizing that they didn't have the whole team in position just yet. So they wanted to back up, reset, hold the two cap, maybe, you know, slow the game down a little bit, build up a little bit of a lead. Yeah, I'll take the first set. Currently with a deficit, 126 to 98. Not too crazy, but the two to one hill advantage is slowly but surely going to chip away at it. We'll see IC again, looking over towards that C hill. Can he try and make the play? Echo Fox plays so well with the home hills, but now they're actually being trip capped. They need to be careful. Echo Fox have to spring into life. It's going to be Icy making his way down to see Cal with the first break. Mental's going to be there. Oh. Icy finds him. Cal as well with a pick on a prey. So for now, at least Echo Fox still alive. Yes, they are. And you're going to see two hills in the favor of Optic Gaming. Now, Icy chilling out on the hill. But they're the going for a trick cap. They're being trick cap. Being Ooh. Right up under their nose. But as I say that, you're going to see that player. That's going to be Kyle. He's going to rotate off the home hill of Optic Gaming. So, Fred locking down his. There's looking to be a team fight. You're going to start to see the player set up. But Echo does find a kill in this engagement on Summon. So, they're looking to get control fully over that entire Pistons area where that B hill is located. So, getting some extra damage in. Explosives goes down, but nobody's going to be in position to clean up that kill. But that opens collapsing. up a doorway for the collapse to come through. Kenny, he does clean up the kill, but that's not the one in which he wanted. However, he however, C was neutralized. So for a brief moment, they're up to gaming, not earning points. They've earned themselves a big enough cushion, they I went think, off a one. to they win recognize just off it. one. I see does need to try to figure out which way the pressure is going to come. He's trying to be patient. He doesn't have reinforcements just yet. Now he can just kind of focus on the right-hand side. All smoke's coming in off the spawn Someone for the that, members we? of Echo Fox. Oh, here we go. Icy looking to go big. Powers oh. was there. All of a sudden, the A heal being taken away. Up to Gaming looking to go so big, but it's Fran who That's, stays oh. full. That's the double, but keep your eye on the score. 203 to 196. Fran has to B, cut the hill. B. And now all of a sudden, Explosive is still going to challenge. B is going to be neutral. Is anyone going to be able to Nerd. see? There's one player still, still over extending, oh, but no. Gaming, they're still they going to win. It, it doesn't matter. It. Up to oh. Gaming, take round one. There you go. Ooh, by the skin of their teeth, right? Yep. That was a round in which Arthur could not lose. They have knuckled up. They are in position. And they, they know that, hey, you know what? All right, this is the real deal. Okay, this is getting serious. But that's the first round that they've got in a while. And the beast is awoken. You see praise mm -hmm. getting up, getting loud. Uh, you know, not just yet. Not just yet. They got to chain together a few more what, rounds. What, what was it that Echo Fox were? Gar garbage? Catfish? Oh, garbage, yeah. I, I think, think it was garbage. Yeah, right? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah, what he said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, seven rounds in a row. How's that feel? They're not like recyclable <laughs> garbage either. Oh, like no, no, actual, actual like, like trash. Yeah, 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 uh, but <laughs> as it says, map two up to gaming 1 0 up. After a defeat in map one, of course, still plenty of gears of war to be played here on Championship Sunday. This grand final, I think it's going to be a good one. I expect to be uh, muffled in your seats for quite some time. As, once again, we'll see the fight early on. And you can see here as well, no x ray mode. 
for this round. And it's interesting to really have a look at exactly what the players see. Because so often, I, I know people tune in and they see the X-ray mode and they think, oh, you know, the players can see the outline. When all those smokes are going down, it gets so chaotic, guys. Uh, and it's beautiful to actually see the direct POV of what players actually do see as well. Hey, exactly. And, and it's just, you know, a little bit of intel. You got to rely on the call outs from your teammates. And Shout also the leaders. marks as well, too. So, and uh, as you're gonna see now, Fran, he's gonna get the revival on his teammate. A flank did come through mid map. Kyle trying to find a kill. Fran, that was beautiful against Summons. As he said in his interview, he says, hey, if I can still compete, I'm going to. And he showed him that even with age, he still has his skill. And again, there another prime example of exactly what Franchise can see. Two plays pushing through the smoke. He had no idea. Now he has to react. And he gets the first against Explosive. Don't you dare push him. And he finds the first. And now all of a sudden, Trey's left by himself over towards the B Hill. The resources coming over, but Fran plays it wide. Finds his 10th kill here of map two. Fran playing extremely well. All right, so they will get this down. So they're going to end up cleaning up this kill. They're going to control the neutral. So still early on so far, they're going to pick up a few more kills. Got a few players of Optic Gaming coming off of Respawn. If we could see the mini map briefly. And we'll see, you see those percent, yep, well, that was brief. going towards the top. Yeah, that was super brief, right? <laughs> but they're coming through the top. You see they're lining up, and now they're trying to put themselves in position. Those dots, it's looking like they're going to go for a home hill setup. Echo Fox fortified inside Pistons, and now they're going to get the call out. Again, think about how close that first round was. You're almost an identical situation. We're now tied up, 73-73. 2-1 to one hill advantage, Echo Fox. Incense, though, mid-map. We'll see what they want to do with it. We'll see what it comes up, and Icy it does have him. Icy grabs him now. All of a sudden, the defensive play has to come through. Fran with one, Kenny oh. with one as well. Icy actually uh, Killed ends himself. up going himself, but Power Powers was able to shut down Prey. So two players from up to gaming still alive. Mental and this Summons is, yeah. to keep up to gaming in the That's lead. That's mental, but track. where is Summons hiding is the real question. You know he's a sneaky one, and he's on the other end of the map. They need to try to watch the neutral hill, but Kenny knows that he needs to help his teammate on a home hill up off the game, and he gets one. Looking for the second. Oh, Kenny. Kenny delivers. Oh, Kenny. Oh, you thought for a moment there. It looked maybe, good. Maybe he could it get the 1v3, but instantly, Praise reacts. Pushes over towards the C hill. He has been spotted. Shots going down. Echo Fox now with a comfortable lead. 150 to 109. But nothing is comfortable against Optic Gaming. You simply have to put this round to bed. These are the rounds you cannot drop against the Green Wolf. You definitely can. So with a two hill advantage in favor of Echo Fox, you're going to have Insane spawn up in 35 seconds. Kyle, oh, an overextension. He's going to run past Summons. Actually, they pinch him. So Summons Beautiful. left alone. I would have left I would have left that kill and went for the decap possibly, but they're trying to oh, work together. It kills. kills. Top tables as well. That's oh. another one for Kyle with the man advantage and the two and the hill advantage as well. You're going to see Echo Fox get their first round on the board and Matt number two. Powers. Two rounds in, nine kills to his name. Franchise shooting well as well. For Echo Fox, maybe it was their event. Maybe it was their destiny. The stars aligning for them here. Of course, it is just the first series, though. Again, we have to have to keep kind of reminding yeah. ourselves of that. It's not, it, or sorry, it's too soon really to get carried away. You don't want to call it just yet because it's still, like I said earlier on, a lot of Gears of War still to be played here in this grand final. And oh, man. we're all tied up 1 1 here in map two. And that's what I want to see. Uh, Echo Fox getting some rounds in early on. Oh, this is an interesting one. What do they want to do? If they actually do this block, that'd be surprising. Yeah. Uh, you, you go for the dual support weapon spawns. Why? Uh, Gilbert. You know, he is so <laughs> deadly with him. Just give him what he wants. But they respecting Kyle after that last map, not putting the marks down. Uh, and you're definitely not going to put the retro lances down at, these, nope. at this caliber of gameplay. Uh, it'll just be, <laughs> actually, the whole game will just slow down because you won't be able to move as much. So we're going to see in this round. Two members from a uh, 2v2 situation. Praise and summons. Going up against the likes of uh, Kenny plus oh, one. Oh, that's a down. That's the first one. And you see Kyle just instantly springs into life. Now all of a sudden Kenny with They're three players from up to gaming there. If they can get a good pinch, they should be able to slay everybody out. And Powers has incense as well. He's got the gaming trap between Echo Fox, but Explosives makes an opening for the team to get through. That's and, uh, huge. That's huge. It's an exit strat right there for up to gaming. Explosive finds a crack in the wall and does get through. But early on, of course, just one hill cat up to gaming. They also kill both homes. All right. So we're going to see so far. 
uh, Echo Fox is going to make this B Hill their home hill, their base of operations. Gives them a, a, a route so for them to come out of spawn, set up, think it out. It's still early on, right? But Fran, he's pushing towards the home hill, looking for some help, taking some shots across map. You got three members of Optic Gaming in front of you. The flank coming towards the back end. He's dropping back. He falls. He tried to go as far back as possible, but ultimately it doesn't matter. Optic Gaming hunted him out, and Powers is left scrambling all the way back. Says, and Optic chase me. Gaming. Chase me. They're just going oh, all the way to the spawn score. shield. The spawn shield. Kenny spawns up with spawn shield. And he's still fighting off, trying to get this last down as well. But the domination is coming through for Optic Gaming. Echo Fox, can he make oh, look it? Look at that. Oh, Kyle, look at it, look at he it. makes the play. And honestly, you, to you need to be it. careful if you're Optic Gaming here because you dedicated a ton of resources. You have to make sure you still slay out. He it is so important. It. Yeah, actually, you know what? He's just gonna stay on the home hill. He's gonna say somebody can get to me as soon as possible. The pinch from middle, Kenny Powers, the takedown summons. He goes down in a decap looking to come through. So a two hill advantage for Echo Fox. Optic Gaming regains control of the C hill. So still early on, but Optic has a decent lead for them to have a little breathing room coming out of spawn and not have to rush in these hills and make any rash decisions. And it's still early in the round as well. Of course, the score 102 to 84, but to your point, Guy Echo Fox, of course, two to one hill advantage in the old game from a miraculous play from Kyle. Doesn't manage to stay alive. Hey. Ultimately, that was a He's going to be able to tap up before Explosives gets there as well. Are you sure? It's going to be quick. Oh. But it's, uh, his teammate, he, uh, you know, Fran, he said, I'm going to run through the fire and try to save you. Uh, couldn't get the shot in the time. Explosive realizes it's a bad well, trip situation. Cap. Trip cap's coming through. Explosive's trying to scurry over towards A. B is going to be decapped anyway. The cap not coming through. 1C, 122, Tie 122. Game. All hills looking to be neutralized as well as I see. Oh, let him know about it, pal. That's what you want. Let what you him want know about it. it. Secures the A hill. However, the fight's still going on at B. Kenny's down, so Optic Gaming should be able to retake control of that. There's also an Optic Gaming player down on their own home hill. Curious to see if Echo Fox want to flood that. That seems to be the game plan. The fight going on at C. But I see oh. you sneaky oh. oh. Summons wasn't this having is, it. There's but no right being here, too sneaky Another there. secret man, but he's going to see his gun, and he's going to say, okay, Powers. Powers choosing to back. back up, realizing it's a risky situation. Big fight going down on the home hill of Optic, but C hill is going to be decapped finally. So, A Hill is going to be decapped as well. This is the battle of rotations. Now again, Tripcap domination to could come through. Huge 1v1 summons versus powers and summons. Yes, let's powers know about Still it. Still a close game. Close game. Kenny needs to spring into action. Looks like he's going to try to get as close as possible to the home hill of Optic Gaming. Uh, he needs to put himself in a better position, but he doesn't have much time to work with Ben. And you see the B-Hill fully fortified by Optic as well. 183, 173. Echo Fox's win condition here has to be a trip cap domination or at least get two hills and neutralize the third. Time is of the essence. You simply must go. Will they be able to even touch the hill? Will they be able to even get past the green wall or will it stand tall? B was touched, but only momentarily. It was Optic Gaming take round three, a two to one advantage. Yep, a back and forth battle. But I think knows that hey, they cannot slack off in this one. And that round was just they, so rotation heavy from both teams, right? Uh, it but tied so many different. But times. The, you know, the good thing of it all, right, is that Echo Fox is preventing Optic Gaming from getting to that flow, right? Because when Optic Gaming starts having fun, when they start getting those kills, and you see the trash talk coming through, they're little, they're, they're kind of unstoppable at that point, right? Yep. But you got the neutralizer on the other team, and that's icy, right? <laughs> he is making sure they, their momentum cannot get up in this match. But we'll see. You see the kill feed Solar's actually only yeah. double digits five the game again. It, it looks like Echo Fox is actually yeah. playing there as well. Wow, a lot of kills actually. Surprising. Very surprising. Boom shot goes down for Echo Fox. So this fight is going to be geared towards that Pistons area. Who can get this boom shot, especially with it being 16 plus second respawn rounds? Oh, well, Fratton looking to try and find a double. Not going to happen. Praise was out of the rescue, but Cal and Icy spring into life. They get a double of their own. Can Cal stay alive? Yes, he can. Powers to the rescue now. And all of a sudden, boom picked up by Kenny. A beautiful opening by Echo Fox. Yeah, he's just trying to get some shots in, but B got capped and the boom got picked up as well, Ben. Incense just got picked up also. So we'll see what does Echo Fox want to do utilizing these power weapons. So they get the neutral hill, they get their home hill powers in a power position. I don't think anybody sees them. Yeah, explosive looked in that direction. So he may be able to get a secret man on somebody to get some good shots in. Attempts to even just hit a hot flank. Well, oh, they will spot it now. <laughs> Mental. So at this point, you need your teammates that. to push up, right? To try to help you. Powers is trying to stay alive as long as he can. This is a horrible 1v2 to fight. Ultimately, will fall. If he could have connected with that incense, that would have been key for him. Right. But in new incense will be up in under a minute. Boom shot has about a minute 15 on that respawn. Two hill advantage for Echo Fox. I still haven't seen those boom Ken, Kenny has it. Kenny still has it. He's alive with it. 
That's Fran and I see, and Kyle all actually win huge 1v1s. Explosive could be in a world of pain. Runs through the smoke grenade, oh. ultimately goes down. Fran's gonna clean him up. That's four down. Summons, last man alive Two for bombs. Optic Gaming. Where is he? There he is, pushing up towards the home hill. He falls. Echo Fox looking to tie things up once again. Kenny with the cut with Boom. Doesn't even matter. We're all square. I love WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I'm going to hold my breath. We'll see if the bracket does get reset. Echo Fox still has a long way to go, and you can never count out this Optic Gaming team. And I do believe our map number three is going to be on the plane. And, uh, you know, we've seen what Optic Gaming did to EU's finest on that map. So I'm pretty sure they're going to have a lot of confidence if they get to that point. But this time, this is going to be the first time all tournament in which they found themselves behind to start this series without that one map cushion. Yep. Also, something to take into account as well if you're an Optic Gaming fan is that they've never lost two series back to back ever 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 all right ever, ever. but if echo fox can do it and, and maybe like icy made a point yeah. <laughs> oh god well of course again we won't get too carried away still not two to finish and conclude. This one's two, about two. to be juicy now. 18 second respawn round. Cal, first blood on solo. Oh. Metal looking for something. He's going to pull. Oh. As Echo Fox, they just seem to have so much momentum right now. Four players down. Explosive. Oh. One V5. What can you do for Red? Much. It's about buying time. It's about doing anything you can. Staying alive. Trip cap comes oh. through. Explosive goes down. No one's going to touch it off small. They got boom. They got incense. Uh oh. The Three, last two. time. Echo Fox. Echo, the last time Echo Fox chained together two rounds, they got five more right after. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they won the map pretty convincingly. Yes, they did. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I, I've been a big, uh, big fan of some of Icy's celebrations in between rounds. Very clever. Yeah, very smart. Yeah, very smart. And also, uh, I, I know you and uh, Waldo had something to do about the the American pants. Oh, yeah, that's he, where this extra I, he energy comes He says, from. should he wear the, the flag pants or the red shorts? I immediately say it, flag pants. <laughs> oh, his pants. Uh, yes, definitely an interesting choice of attire to wear on Championship Sunday in a grab. By the way, hey, he's making it work, and he's playing damn well. So you can't complain too much as Aquafox looking now to maybe give himself a two-round cushion going into the half. Will they be able to do it? Front, he's going to go down for first blood. 18 kills to his name. Mental with a big double. Again, Optic Gaming looking to tie things up, oh. and that's just a beautiful opening from Optic Gaming. Powers, last man, it was explosive last round. If he can nice extend his use. round, that's impressive. This is a 20-second respawn round, so he's not marked just yet, but they will spot him from the other side of the map. Oh, my God. Powers doing what Powers does, but Optic, they were ready for it. They're going to tie this series up just in this map. Three to three. Beautiful round. Pretty much exactly what you saw in the round prior from Echo Fox. Optic Gaming execute from lawlessly, leaving just powers alive to try and defend his home hill. 20 second respawn round, 1v5. Really not much you can do. And, and Echo, they understand that, right? They said, hey, you know what? We lost the initials, 20 second respawn round. It happens. We know what to work on next time. Next time. Fran kind of got caught out. But one thing also that Optic Gaming did, instead of putting the pressure towards the boom fight, right, and fight it in the open area of the map, they chose to go wide towards the close area and use, the, use those lances and out angle them. So we'll see. Optic Gaming, they, they've been playing at that fast pace a little bit. Echo's been ready for them, but since they know that Echo is, is in those in their groove on some of these rounds, when they chain together these rounds, they're slowing down their gameplay yep. and they're trying to catch them off guard and playing that slow methodical gameplay. Well, first round of the second half, of course, map flips. Hills rotate across and back down to 10 second respawns. All weapons removed off the map as praised. Open things up and win against Icy. Eventually has another one over to his left. It's going to be Fran who just is going to go straight for it. And Praise keeps his distance. Well played. His 13th kill of the map so far. I'm pretty sure Fran has won more 1v1s against Praise than Praise has against Fran in his matchup. So. Probably right based yep. on just how many kills Fran has as well. And But, you know, <laughs> Summons, he's going to double back. And, folks, it is going to be halftime. So all the power weapons are going to be wiped off the map. We are going to have a new set of hills. The home hills will be the F hill and the D hill. The new true hill will go over towards that statue area of the map at E. So we're going to see a few different setups. And also with the respawn timers being at 10 seconds, you're not going to get those quick dominations uh, just yet. You're going to have to play for a few two caps and play for time in some situations, unless you can get a few quick kills in succession. And it's obviously worth mentioning in the second half, that home hill setup is just so, yeah, so strong. So it, strong. Can be, it can be so dominant, very, very tough to break. And it wouldn't surprise me if maybe that is Optic Gaming's plan. 
They're sending four, so yeah, <laughs> it is up to Gaming's plan. 2v4 defensively, what have you got? Echo oh, Fox, you see the crossfire coming in damage. to try and assist the fight. Powers with one, Solars goes down. Now oh, the smart. resources are there for Echo Fox. Smart. They baited it out perfectly. Now all of a sudden it's a 4v2. Someone was able to take down one, Mental with oh, another. He, he's gonna tap up. Nope. Up A, oh. There Bye -bye. <laughs> Better late than never. But Kenny to the rescue. Stops the optic gaming push. Almost revived himself in that engagement. Solar's taking a lot of damage and oh, he's no. reaching over the counter, trying to grab the cash from the <laughs> rat. <laughs> Kyle looks no, at him. no, 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 uh -uh. no, my friend. A rat, rat mistake comes through, and that could cost up to gaming. 143 to 129, two to one, oh, three, three players down. Again, Echo Fox looking to get momentum, but he pops mental. He says no. A big double from him stays alive. But the domination coming through. The F Hill decap. Uh, but I don't think anybody else who's in that area. Okay, so Fran had to back out Scrap after him. he decapped it. Mental gets the call out, so he's just trying to get a few shots in, help his teammate out, and she's going to say, hey, you know what? I put enough in. You guys got that. Let me focus to the front. Fran falls without trading his life. It gives up to gaming a brief, brief window of opportunity. Can Echo Fox try and somehow rotate out, give themselves an extra win condition? It's 199 to 153. Both they go up to gaming. Decapped. Both hills going down. The kills need to come through its powers. Fran is there to support. Can they clean up? The Uptick Gaming members, not Explosive gonna be a trip no. cap just yet. It comes down to Explosive. What can he do? Ah. 1v3, nada. Ah. Zilch as Fran gets the double. This round is surely over. Yep. Solar's not gonna get there. Advantage Echo Fox. Oh, making sure they kept their composure to close those rounds out. And this is some of the, uh, uh, this is a lot of confidence in which Echo Fox has right now, right? I haven't seen him with this much confidence in the Grand Finals in a long time. Well, at least I haven't Mexico. seen Fran and uh, Kyle with this much confidence in the Grand Finals in a long time. But when you have two two players on your end, right? The former members of Optic Gaming, Icy, Kenny, they bring that type of composure to your team in these pressure situations. That's the key, right? It isn't just, oh, you know, winner's bracket round one or pool play. It's these moments, so these finals. So, you know, when is the winners out the gaming team was formed, right? One of my biggest gripes, especially when it came down to praise and Icy's, I always felt like Icy was better. But in the old Echo Fox, when they got into these difficult situations, I felt like praise could never match Icy's intensity, okay? No matter what happened, Icy was always consistent with the trash talk, his intensity, his mindset. So, that Echo Fox never had that. Now they get to see and feel how it right. feels to play with Icy, and you see the type of energy that he brings to the team for them to stay this composed in the grand final. It's a it really is. Is Icy now being pushed, but the support comes through, and well, that's mental. And Icy's going to finish him off. <laughs> Quick glance, two players down for Optic Gaming as Kenny grabs Boo. Kenny gets a kill. Uh -oh. Kyle gets a kill, and again, the forward momentum coming in for Echo Fox. Can they uh -oh. translate they this to a dodge these booms, and he's going to have one boom left in the chamber. It's going to be active, being patient, trying to hurt the rest of the players. He gets one kill. Oh, that's the other player is going to be stunned, trying to get the up ace. Calls in for reinforcements. They do find the other kills in transition from the spawn that hill's being decapped all of the summons and he goes down and now echo fox has started his streak once again a bit more momentum for echo fox and now they're all on their feet it isn't just one it's all five players and kenny's letting them know oh i love it when kenny gets hyped because that's when you know you're watching a damn good game kenny's a winner yes, he's, he a he's a champion he's a champion He's a champion, boy. And how do you react to that? How do you react to that if you're up to gaming this your is set, a, well, looking at your former teammate, potentially resetting the bracket in a grand final, set up with the four new teammates? Icy and Kenny were different players, right? Once they joined out the gaming. Yes. After winning five championships, they became better players than what they already was. Which is scary in itself, exactly, by the right? way. And so we're seeing the impact in which they actually made on this team. It's crazy. It really is. Echo Fox 5-3. And again, to reiterate, these two teams have already played in this tournament. And Optic Gaming 14, probably four. produced the quickest result yeah. I've ever seen in a championship winner's bracket matchup. It was that quick. I, uh, I didn't miss my dinner plans, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, all Optic fans will be happy to know. But in terms of this one, Echo Fox, it, it's a different team. It's a completely different squad. Completely different team, uh, Ben. And so in this one, we're going to see. The push is coming through. Man advantage. He just stole boom. Oh. He just stole it. Powers has it. Does Love he? It. Yeah, he has it on his back. He has boom. Oh. 
So you got two players down, and so now the transition Powers can make a play. Go. Fran gets the kill. Powers can get the splash damage, but he's going to save these booms for up top for the difficult ones, because Summons, he went down with E. Powers, oh, don't shoot that one, big oh, fella. Composure, composure. Two in hand, don't easy panic. boom kill. He goes down, but can't get cleaned up. Icy's watching with the Lancer in hand. Powers have boom in hand as well, so that boom is on the ground. He, uh, and, and, and Explosive would not be able to quick pick that one. They're looking for some extra help. You get the angle. He puts himself in a safe spot to not get crossed out by any of the other members of Optic Gaming. But he does go down. But the, the cross is still coming fire. through. It's still coming through. I can fuck. They don't want to give it Double up. Boom is still on the ground. Fred, wow, he goes down as there. well. Now it's a 1v1 oh. Kyle. He goes down and Summons is going to win the boom it. boom disappeared. It nope. did. No, oh, he no, can't find no. it. It's right there. It's gonna it's right he, there. he can't. Uh-oh. Oh, they do get it. There you All go. All right, so one boom in a hand. That was a scrappy one. Very, very scrappy. And after the dust settles, Optic Gaming should take control of E. Two to one, hill advantage. And surely, we will take that point lead in a few moments' time. We just hit 100 points in the game. And still, it looks as if it's going to be slow like the very beginning. All right, so Solars, he's going to pick up that kill. Going to put the active boom. Icy finds one. We'll see if he wants to shoot this. Ooh, Kyle slips away, right? So a home hill sub is, setup is about to go in favor of Echo Fox, but Explosive does find a kill, and that was on Kyle on the home hill of Optic Gaming, so that's going to be safe. Still plenty of time. The lead has not spiraled out of control just yet. And you have a boom to play for new boom as well. If, if you're Optic Gaming, chooses yes. To. Uh, Which I think is a play, it. especially while you're holding the two cap. At, at this point, absolutely. For Echo Fox to make the play, in actual fact, yeah, he has the new boom anyway. So oh, there's the first pinch one. Mid though. On the short stairs, coming in from close, the smoke's hit. The stun for Mental was there, and he did get the extra boom, so he had three booms, actually. Yep. And now one more in the chamber, but he goes down, and he shoots it. So no more booms on the ground, all booms used up. This hill needs to get the cat, but with Summons watching it, whoever that is, Kyle just needs to get in that hill. And this has been a picture-perfect round thus far from up oh, gaming. They call that a slip, but he just needs with to the support fire. There you go, dancing in the hill, trying to get the decap. He's going to crawl to cover. France choosing a fight. Big. He has to go big. Only finds one. Kyle will be cleaned up by some of the home hill anyway. So. And that fight confirms the round win for Optic Gaming. Just putting a bit of a kind of dampener there now to Echo Fox's momentum. Oh, Optic Gaming being tested with this new roster in the grand finals. It's been a while since Optic Gaming has had the bracket reset on them. I believe it was, uh, ooh, Mexico, I think. Hmm. But in this one. All right, so booms down, blocks down as well. Snipes, Snipes, Snipes getting placed at statue. So typically in this team fight, we're going to see three players from each team push down mid map, separate 1v1s towards the B hill, and also we're going to have 1v1s towards that statue area. And look at the outslaying. We mentioned it in round three when Echo Fox was actually down two to one. Up the game, he had the advantage. The outslaying hasn't slowed down. Yeah. Echo Fox still with a big advantage now. Of course, they find themselves uh, up five oh, four. The early Kyle start of this one. Fran looking to try and assist, but somehow up to gaming still have. Big forward. kill by Fran. Mental drops, but Fran ultimately goes down as well. Through. Kenny's trying to stay alive, but he cannot. That's going to be four down in a boom shot in the hand of Optic. But Icy snipe in hand, and he's getting flanked as well in a difficult position. Five down, boom shot in hand for Optic Gaming as well. You're going to see uh, three players take that boom shot to the home hill of Echo Fox. You're going to see one player double back for the home hill cap. Domination coming through. Boom to be used in the yep. hill to be secured as well. No one Optic touches gaming. it. Ties it up, five um, to five. Another flawless, flawless round from up the game from the very beginning. It looked a little scary. Maybe Fran was able to pick up that first blood. And up to gaming. Really, again, looking to stay alive here. Force a 1-1, one, one. force a game three in this first best of three. Will they be able to do it? There's a quick glance at weapon placement These teams now. are pretty even. Sure are. Be Big shout out to Observer in the back. Best 10 players Cleaner. in the game right now. All right, so Echo Fox, they want the Hammer Burst back down as well. Uh, both teams were able to utilize it in that first half. They like the look, and so uh, they're going to put it down and get some of that, uh, increase that long range potential. 18 seconds. Respawn delay. That's where we're heading to. And again, you have to look Fran, at the performance from franchise. Fran, yeah, 29, 29 kills in the grand nine final. 29 kills. To reset it for the team. In game two. When you need oh, your they're going to bring an extra man mid map for the cross. 
They're trying to prevent them, and they actually give Fran an opportunity to get down for free and get set up and get a wide angle at this point. But Kenny's Oscar down. Gaming just can't push in. And Fran is going to be there as well, but two kills go in favor. Can they even the odds? Can they make this a 3v3? Big kills need to come in their favor, but Kyle goes it's down. It's not going to happen. Icy's going to be left by himself once again. Icy goes down. Optic Gaming, they adapt and they execute. Echo Fox again in a world of pain. First player off spawn is going to be Fran. He has to scramble. He's not even going to make it. I don't even think there's a, a, a time for him to get there. There isn't. Nope. Advantage oh, Optic Gaming, there. six to five. They now put themselves at that point. This is where you got to force around 13, right? You can't let them build that confidence. Nope, not heading into a game three. And especially on a map where they just 7 0 EU's finest on Reclaim in a game three. So it cannot go there. You cannot let it go to that game three. You have to. Have to draw upon that energy. Yes, you've been playing all day. Losers round one. It's been an unbelievable run of form I think from Echo Fox. Ooh, but I think you we need, see round 13. You need to draw on those resources right now. If Echo Fox could win around 13, this second series is going to be Stop. crazy. Oh. We have to get there first. We, we have to do. get there first. And the past two rounds have been completely I want to go on board with Franchise for this one. He's running. He's out putting himself in good positions. Smokes out. Asking thou shall receive. See. Nobody's pushing in just yet. Looking for his 30. Trying to get his health back. He finds the corner. They know that they're going to push him. That player did not get stunned, so he got up right away by Mental, but he had to at least go. Icy is going to recognize the situation as well and choose to back up. And Mental's been the factor these past three rounds, just diving straight down and finding that pick. But Kenny responds now, and this is a lot slower. You kind of mentioned it there, guy. They, they pulled away a, a little more. They wanted to prolong the round, if nothing else. Icy now has sniped. Kenny goes down. Oh, Icy, one of the best snipers in Gears of War history. Well, there's a time to go off. It's probably right now. Definitely is going to be right now. And uh, ooh, with all these players being top tables, he's going to have a few headshots in which is going to be easy for him to acquire. Flank comes through. Couldn't get the help. Oh, call out came in late. And Bacow managed How? to stay alive. What? Puts himself in a safe spot. So uh, this is going to prevent the push from out the game. He's going to slowly start to see these players back up. He's looking for one more, trying to go past his player. But another flank came through. He wasn't able to get that chunk. Up to gaming. Two hill advantage back, though. They're shifting into another gear, it feels like. The momentum oh, they, shifting they back in their back favor. That e -hill. They still ain't decapped the E-Hill yet, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna send a play over there soon. They have that man advantage again. 20 second respawn round here. You die and, well, you're lucky to see another gunfight. So at this point, you got frag grenades coming up in 55 seconds. You got sniper coming up in 35 seconds, right? Both those power weapons are on the neutral hill side of the map at E. The rotation for Echo Fox, if they want to, if they want to acquire those power weapons, they're going to have to rotate soon. At that point, Kenny will be isolated in a 1v1 against Praise. He may have some Icy's help, or Icy may try to push through mid-map. But I don't think they're going to go for the home hill setup. Nope, they just want to put themselves in better position. And almost like a little fake rotation for Echo Fox. He's going to have to double back to get powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But majority of the players of Echo, they're going to be focusing on a home hill of Optic Gaming. Yes, they will. Okay, to lock it down. About to have a lead change very soon as oh, he actually nice just wants to go straight down the middle one. I don't know whether anyone's going to expect gets, it, but he, he does get out. called out. And two kills come through from Explosive. This is an annoying position that he's putting himself in. He gets an angle on Summons, can't get the down, but here comes extra help. But he's in an open area to map. Trying to get that decap with powers, but he's gonna have a crucial 1v1. And he's done well to stay alive. No praise also shut down Icy elsewhere. Powers just being a nuisance now. Again, prolonging Echo Fox's life, decap. but he's done so well and Solar's You don't have to push that one, it. big fella. Solar's respected it. He backed away and now powers ultimately uh, maybe over dedicated to that fight. But he had a pinch coming in off the other end as well. I think it's starting to realize that they can kind of win off one hill. So by the time Echo Fox breaks one of these other hills, they could be in position to kind of turtle up. And they're going to be fortified on top of this E hill. I don't see nobody in position of Echo Fox to get that break just yet. Four down, all up to Kenny. He can't be in two places at once. And folks, Optic Gaming is going to force the game three on Reclaim. That was perfect Gears of War from Optic Gaming. Three rounds in a row. I'm talking about if they're on forward heading out because with the map being this small, there's no room for mistakes. There is no room for mistakes. And honestly, if a team gets a really big lead off a couple of these initials, I'm expecting teams to start doing spawn challenges as they're coming off the respawns and start making it longer. All right, so here we have it. Echo Fox and Optic Gaming on a tie breaker map reclaimed. Biss and the Goblades take it away. Whew. Echo Fox need one more map to reset the bracket. And then it comes down to just a simple best of three in this grand final for Optic Gaming. They're looking at making a statement here. Yes, they.
had a little bit of a slip, a little bit of a blunder, if you will, in map one. Map two, much, much better. Map three, new, completely new ball game. But now you got actually powers running that front spine for Echo Fox, and he beat Mental into that bowl, and they both the powerhouses are going to trade off in kills. Different 1v1, Icy versus Praise in this engagement. Who's going to come out on top? And Praise gets a little bit of help, but the late flank comes through and explosives was ready for Kyle. Yes, he was. Kyle maybe a little late for the party. Ultimately dropped. So, round one early advantage up to gaming. However, as you say that, you can see A is actually being decapped by Echo Fox. So, for now, just buying themselves a, a little bit of time, making sure that the points don't get too out of control. As Belly said beforehand, your second life, right? You're going to have to value that one. And you're going to see these players get set up a little bit, get some good damage in on Praise. We'll see the push that comes through. Once you guys see these smokes hit the ground, just know this is going to be the time for Echo Fox to push. You're going to get one smoke to get those stuns off in that smoke screen. And they're going to slowly start to move up. Kyle takes some damage. You're going to see three players flood on over. Mental does find a kill. No kills traded just yet. That's going to be two kills in favor of Optic Gaming. The flank comes through, but that's going to be more kills for Mental. All it's, up to France to extend this round it's out. It's so hard. It's so, so difficult to just break through. When Optic Gaming is set up and you're running at them, they're so dangerous. As now, trip cap donation is coming through. Will anyone be able to at least touch the hill? Mental says oh absolutely my God. not. Ooh, how many kills was that around 1-4? We'll see. So probably like seven or eight. A lot. <laughs> but that's what you want to see out of him. That's what you need. Exactly. Uh, and this is uh, very similar to the game three early run in the tournament that they had. And of course, uh, that was against EU's finest. Was, yeah. was it not where kind of quiet in map one, you know, did his thing in, in map two, but game three. Mental Ooh. just came out and just took control, and that's the type of player he is. When, when he kind of sends seven kills, when he senses it, he just says, you know what? Don't worry, boys. I'll carry us to victory. Echo Fox is going to end up putting a drop shot down. Okay, and that's going to be one of their weapons that they prioritize a lot. So this should force the fight down low. Uh, we'll see how many players decide to go down there, but with the drop shot, it's going to make it a lot easier to retake that B hill. But on the flip side, if Optic Gaming was to lose a round, they could have the option to even put Boom up top, right? And yep. force it back up there and say, hey, you can, you're not going to run away from us. But then both teams are going to have to have critical decisions to make on which weapons they want to grab. But Explosives with first blood in this round. Yep. And now all of a sudden, summons a mental spring into life. Echo Fox falling like dominoes as mental strings together. Two drop shots have been picked up. And meanwhile, Frant on the other side. Well, he was able to cap the hill, but how long can you survive for with the pinch coming through? He has to just try and isolate a 1v1, ultimately falls. And Echo Fox looking very flat here at the start of game three. The drop shot comes out. Can they get to their home hill? But the drop shot is being aimed right at it, and the hill was already capped up. So at that point, no members of Echo uh, of Opti Gaming had to stand in that hill. As those players start to decap, you throw drop shots in, you can't get that three seconds. And so we'll see. You see, leading the top of the kill feed is mental and with 10. What's concerning is the action the other side of that scoreboard for Echo Fox. I believe only They lost three rounds players. in a row on Forge. Right, but only two players have kills, and they both only have one. It's Fran and Powers. You need to step up now. You cannot let Optic Gaming That's the initials, their foot right? Hold this, this is game three. They, you lose this, of course. Looking, uh, looking, look, looking at Powers off his initial to get some quick kills. We'll see what happens. And uh, going down low. Power is seeing once again with that front spawn. He's going to get a smoke out. He's going to try to see if he can get a stun, but Mental gets in without getting a stun. Power delivers a devastating shot. Gets it down, trying to help Looks his teammate out. on the flank. They're still putting in that damage, and they do clean up the kills. And you got two players left standing. Summon Solars. Powers can't win that one. Oh, 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 oh. But how with the cleanup? So, a much better start here in round yeah, three. Yeah, he just needs to go for home hills. This is a home hill situation. Oh, okay. He really recognized not enough time. Also, their home hill isn't capped up as well. Uh, the drop shot is going to be in the hands of Kenny. And so they're going to be looking to just do a little two hill setup. It's going to be a while before the next drop shot is going to be coming up off of respawn. So during this time, Kenny having that drop shot with his height advantage on top of his B hill, any pushes in which Optic Gaming try to make, he's going to have clear sight lines on taking them out. And so Optic Gaming, it's going to be difficult for them to even try to overextend on a map like Reclaimed. Home hill setups are not a favorable type of thing. You usually just see teams just trying to keep going and break that B hill. And Echo Fox have everything. They have snipe. Yeah. They yeah. have a two to one hill advantage. They have drop shot. They're waiting. Optic will not push up top. They're nope. going to wait for a second drop shot. Oh. Oh. Oh, my lord. Ooh. Franchise. He's going to call out that he's weak. Drop shot should come through to try to clean up that kill. And now he's going to. There it is. 
There yeah, connects. Go. Now all of a sudden, Necrofox, they have an opening, admittedly a brief one. Oh, France looking for a free, some free kills. That's nice. He has a few in front of him. Do they want to collapse on A, though? That's the question. Kyle has done to advance forward. Icy is already deep in optic gaming territory. While well, Praise working down low. Oh. Don't you even think about peeking that, Love Praise. those shots. But so after the game, they're going to say, hey, you know, we're going to wait for the next drop shot. And at that point, they may have the advantage based how, uh, based off of how open this bowl area is. Fran can't connect with that one, but the damage does go in. He's going to choose to reload, get that down. He's going to try to get that chunk over the top. But Kenny's there putting some splash damage over the edge. He has one more drop shot to work with, not able to connect with it. And here comes the push. Fran takes the, the oh, oh mental, mental just flew, flew into the B. He'll said, no, this belongs to me now with the help of Braze. And all of a sudden, oh. the, the picture perfect setup oh. for Echo Fox was just blown out the water. Optic Gaming steamroll through. The trip cap domination now coming through. And if you're Echo Fox, you must have your head in your hands. That round was almost impossible to throw away in terms of the setup. They had advantages two different times. They bought themselves numerical advantages, uh, and they did nothing with them. I see a lot of smiles on the optic gaming side, and this is what I was, I was telling you. This is what you got to prevent. When these boys feel like they are in a comfortable position and start having fun, it is so hard to, to beat them. I think Kenny in that last round missed a few key drop shots, especially when that push came up the stairs. That's what you should at least be saving one drop shot for because you know it's coming. It was clear as day. You saw three players running up those stairs. Probably just overshot it a little bit. Mental with 12 kills in this one. So Icy with none. Map. Icy actually having negative points three rounds in. You're going to need him to step it up. It's definitely real. Of course, we saw up to Gaming 3 0 up in map one. And well, we all know how that ended. Echo Fox stringing seven rounds back to back. This is their time once again to get that first round on the board here in game three. That's all. Again, pushing down low. Logan will just keep exploiting Echo Fox, if at all possible. A couple of kills already in favor of Optic Gaming. Kenny yeah. trying to spring into life. Oh, it's going to be explosive in front. Fran shuts down summons. The fight's still pretty much anyone's game at this point as Kenny tries to push through, finds one. Drop shot picked up by Solus. Praise also finds the pick on Icy. And again, Echo Fox in trouble. Yes, they are. With that, uh, Solus with the drop shot in hand. He's going to be firing out up top, and he did pick up the kill on Franchise. Uh, I do believe, I think one play, actually nobody's up top. So they're just going to say, hey, go up there, decap the hill. If they can get this hill capped up, that drop shot can use them defensively uh, to just protect it as the rest of the team of Optic Gaming tries to cap up the neutral hill in their home hill as well. But they're going to just opt to back out of the situation, rotate all the way back, try to just use these power weapons, get sniped, utilize the rest of these drop shots, and we'll see. If Echo Fox can do it, Optic Gaming gets it on the round before. That's the irony, isn't it? Yeah. The way this round is set up, it's pretty much exactly the same as what we had in the round prior. The only difference is, of course, the teams have switched. It's up to Gaming, two to one hill control. They have, of course, drop shot at their disposal. Can Echo Fox break through? It was a very well-timed push up top. Which, of course, gave them the opening in that round win. Echo Fox looking to maybe try and set up something similar. Oh, they can just get red. it down. Summons, oh. Scurries away. Somehow still alive. You can hear consistent marks coming through from Optic Gaming. They have all eyes on everyone. Not giving anything up, and now they have Snipe with Mental. Oh, but that drop shot down low is going to be up soon. And Kyle gets a kill on Explosive, so he actually gives them positioning down low to get the drop shot with ease. And that's going to be about 30 seconds off the respawn. Mental with hills. snipe in hand. I actually want to go on board with Mental. We're going to watch anybody from Optic. Let's watch him in this bowl make some key plays for him. So Fran hit an impressive shot. What can Mental do? Optic just with one. Current hill, and it's the hill that Mental is patrolling. The mid-neutral. Of course, Optic do have the lead, but that's Echo Fox slowly, just slowly to not lose too many players in this fight, right? They should I get that, refi that revive. They should be able to get two kills. Stop. Oh, powers. Can you oh. clutch up? Not going to happen. Big kills like that. Those are key kills. Mental puts him back in his place. However, drop shot picked up by Kenny. Snipe is still in the hand of Mental. Sea Hill being currently contested as well, but make a decision, Kyle. Oh, and that's the drop shot we were waiting for. What that's what drop. Echo Fox has set up. Uh, set up for down low. Now Kyle's making a call out with Icy. Oh, 
clever shots, but Explosive's forced to roll in. That should be an easy one. And now, the neutral hill looking to get decap. It's about to be a tight game. Behind you, Kenny needs to try and clutch this up. It's someone gets to help from the blink too as well. The support is there. Someone goes down. Now look at the score. Ooh, 160, rip. 160. We're all tied up. Up to gaming though. They flip the tables. They have control of the home hills, and now it's but Echo not, Fox not for long, just no. with one. Echo Fox is about to get uh, control over A, and they can't win off a two cap. They just need to get it in their favor as soon as possible. Looking for that sweet spot. Can't step out to the left. He needs to cap this. They Mitchell's have to gonna be push into. It has to be capped quickly. Mental now goes yeah. for the push. The smoke's gonna be there. Kyle versus Mental for what jump. could be the round here for Echo Fox. Mental does fall, but now no B's being decapped as well. No hills. Can anyone push C? I don't think anyone's gonna be there. Echo Fox, they lost the fight up top. Optic Gaming continuously clutching up here on Reclaim. These rounds are have been so close. Echo is gonna have to get something going. They've made some good comebacks. <laughs> They came back from three to zero in map number one. What's four to zero, right? They've done it before. They need to keep their composure. Also on this map, coming to 18 second respawn rounds, 20 second respawn rounds. You just need to win these opening initials and just make the plays happen. Use those numbers on the map like we're playing. In the later rounds, you see a lot of domination. They cannot play slow. They cannot play scared. You have to take the fight to Optic. There is no other possible way of winning this. And I see four rounds in still is yet to find a kill. And you need him to find one soon, right? This was... Uh, you, you, you absolutely do. <laughs> Icy, had, Icy had the least time dead coming in, into this match, uh, the second least time dead coming into this match for Echo Fox. And uh, he was your second main slayer as well. And I actually, I actually want to watch Icy up, up the break just to see maybe what's going wrong for him or if potentially he can turn things around. He just needs to get it going. He's gonna push in and try to find a kill, but a lot of smoke there in that situation. Ooh, just one, right? Get off the goose egg, but he it's not gonna happen. It. Fran finds a double now. Zero looking for gaming with four down. Fran full red looking for the fifth. We'll see if he can extend the round and he cannot. Explosives with the marks in hand. That's going to be the fifth round in a row for Optic Gaming, folks. Optic Gaming getting on their feet. Looking over towards Icy. This is what you're. This is what you are always afraid of when you play this team, right? You don't want them to get into this flow. And now Echo Fox is going to have to dig down deep to fight their way back in this one. But if they can do it, what a comeback. But comeback start by winning your first round. And even though you'd be going down 5-1, at least it isn't 6-0. You cannot let Optic Gaming get to that match point. Do whatever it takes. I see. You have to step up. You really do. I don't think I've ever seen a player go an entire map without dropping a kill. Not a player of this caliber. Not, not, I don't think I've not, ever seen it, ever. Not after the impact in which he had in the first two maps, Vin. Can he turn things around? Can he be the catalyst Echo Fox so desperately need? 5-0 down, game three. Up to gaming, a round away from putting himself a championship point. Here's the fight down low. Icy just not getting any look whatsoever as Mental flies at him. 22nd respawn round, better than mine. Powers trying to take things into his own hands, but Kenny, 1v2, he's down. Powers is down. Optic Gaming, the momentum simply doesn't stop as they look to put themselves again at that championship point. Losing the initials down low, and it seems like Echo Fox just could not stop the bleeding. Fran's gonna fall as well, so we'll see all hills looking to be capped up simultaneously on the home hill. Icy, he's gonna have to make a play. He's gonna get at least some help as well. Cap's coming through. They're going to have to drop shot as well to defend it. Can he, he touch it? kind of dive in, and he cannot. Optic Six. gaming match point, oh. folks. This. One more round. This is an explanation mark. And they are just going to let them have it. I mean, it, you're, you're obviously going to let them know about it. And at this point, it begs the question, has Echo Fox that simply map. run out of energy? That second map F up 5-3, losing a devastating round. Is that a match zero point. kill chant in the crowd? It is a zero You guys kill are chant. savages here in New Orleans. Oh God, God damn. What has Bourbon Street done to you guys? I know. You were angels when you landed in the city of New Orleans. <laughs> Not anymore. As we had first round of the second half. Hell, if there was a way of doing it, I guess the 6-0 comeback would be the Echo Fox way. It's explosive. First pick on a Kyle. Powers will shut down Praise. Now all of a sudden, Ooh. down low fight. Powers springs into life. His eighth kill, but ultimately drops to no avail. Echo Fox still alive for now. Explosive will clean up Powers, and I see 
just left scrambling, and it's almost as if Optic Gaming is just stood in front of him, he taunting, kill. just taunting IC playing they're, with him. They're not going to allow him any kills. You see how fast explosives drop back? He wants the Twitter bragging rights all the way till the next event. And you got to think, this is a huge rivalry match here as well. Yeah, it is. Former member of Optic Gaming, IC, currently on a donut in this game three as I see again just trying to find the angle trying to find anything at all as it stands optic two to one hill advantage 10 point lead as well they need something now anything. keep in mind 10 second respawns in a new set of hills if you guys did not already know but the action these players are gonna be spawning up so frequently as well they're trying to just single out Icy, trying to get them down, bringing the pressure towards them. And, and you know, every time they see that character. Yeah. Oh. Every time they see uh, uh, oh. Dizzy. Explosive. <laughs> just turns and burns again. Now Icy pushing over toward the hill and Optic just scramble away. They don't even want to fight him now. Yeah, he's just going to back up. He's in his position. He's waiting for help, so Fran's going to be there. Summons knows where Icy is in that corner. Off the mark that they had on him beforehand. They're trying to get in position to kind of cap up this hill. But I think game is just being annoying on top of their home hill. And Fran goes down, and, uh, and you need the trades to come through. Kyle's going to do his best, but Icy has to play confident here. He cannot oh. play afraid. Is there at the first? There's the second. Icy, better late than never, my friend, is now the home hill setup in favor of Echo Fox. Still six rounds in for one of your star players. But he's going to rotate down low, get him, get him position for the neutral. They know where these last two members are, but off the game, should be able to get to their home hill in time with it being 10 second respawn round. He's going to hit that point blank, just knowing that he needs to land one more shot, but Solis isn't having it. He needs a little bit more help. They should have had a, a simultaneous uh, push on that one, Ben. Keep your eye on the score. Keep your eye top left. 164, 155. Echo Fox will take the lead. He also being neutralized. Power doing everything he can. Trip cap domination coming through. I don't think it's actually going to be locked in. Is it going to yeah, be locked in? It is. It's actually going to be locked in. One round at a time. Guy. It's going to be a marathon. Me, me and you. Guess what, though? Me and you once casted a game which had an epic, uh -huh. epic comeback. And, actually, and, and, uh, both these two teams. And you looked at me about two rounds in. You said, yeah. I got a tingle. I'm going to give you another couple of rounds. I'm going to see if you have that same I'll let you know if they actually do it. But it was Kyle and Icy who did that in the winners' finals against the Optic Gaming team. Kenny was a part of that team as well, and he's going to be on their team this time. Oh, I was thinking about the Optic Gaming comeback against Echo Fox. You called uh -huh. that one as well? I did. <laughs> mm. This could be uh, I forget about him sometimes. Ooh, retro Lancers oh, now. Oh, explosives looking to be annoying. <laughs> this oh. is when, you know, when his weapon gets poured out. Here comes the cheese. Let's go. Optic Gaming, Bring champion pepper jack. ship point. They just need one more round. Echo Fox, well, they need six, and I'm not sure where they're going to find them from. It's been just so optic dominated. It's not even funny. Let's have a look at explosive Ooh. damage. Can he input? I see trap down low already. Early advantage optic, two to one hill advantage. Uh, and they got some good positioning down low as well, especially with this retro lance. So watching this E hill now, as the E hill is cat, it's going to be so hard to decap that without uh, losing a player's life, trying to sacrifice for it. But you're going to see Echo Fox is choosing, go for the home hill. So Thomas is going to back up. But at this point, you're going to see explosives with a rotation through mid map to try to catch out some of these players. And with Kyle going down, they're looking to be annoying. Yep, this could be potentially an opening. Oh, Mental catches friend, cleans up Kyle, and instantly thinking about being aggressive. They got to go in, but explosives with the retro lantern, the pepper jack in hand. Looking to pepper up these players on Echo Fox. The domination coming through, but it's denied. And now you got to panic, especially knowing that your tournament life is going to be oh, it's, over. It's, on, it's out of Kenny. It's all down to Kenny momentarily. East completely neutral. Meanwhile, Fran Big and fight. Kyle, they just need to touch the hill as quickly as possible. In oh, pops Kyle. Kyle turns around, shuts down Mental. Is it over? Did they get it? They get it! They get they it! They get it! Up to gaming, the 7-1 victory in game three. They are your MLG New Orleans champions.